Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Post Market Report, sponsored by Delta Dot Exchange, a leading uh, crypto trading platform. What a volatile market today! Um, markets corrected finally. That, that was desperately everybody was looking for some kind of a correction that has happened, and that was expected. Yesterday itself, I just mentioned that you know the Nifty future premium has come down. And Nifty put call ratio is 1.45. You no, know, it's overbought condition. You no, know, some kind of a correction is required. So therefore, you know, this correction was expected. But what was not expected is a huge volatility. I mean, entire global queues were very bad. We don't know why Nifty has to take out yesterday's high in the morning itself. The morning, you know, there was some news about Reliance. So Reliance has shot up. Uh, though all other uh, index heavyweights are down, Reliance alone took the markets higher, and yesterday's high was taken out. So probably those who have got some cues from my statements, uh, they would have cut some long positions. So many of my friends they had taken a put calendar positions, and they have cut the positions in the morning, so they were benefited. Morning it went up, then it came down. That was okay, but even after 2:30 p.m., you know. Nifty shot up about 80 point and then fell another 100 point. So that was a huge volatility. But surprisingly, the India VIX did not shoot up. On the contrary, India VIX was down since morning because markets were moving violently higher. The call premiums shot up. Uh, you know, I, I would say you know at unreasonable levels. Uh, yesterday, even the 20,000 call was trading around 40 rupees. So that got corrected. So the call premiums collapsed, but while the put premiums did not uh, go up much, because people know that this is a normal correction, so it will get arrested somewhere here. So that's why the put premiums did not shoot up much. So those people who had strangles, they had a good profit today. But the intraday player is as usual, you know, a very very like troubling day, and especially. Uh, the, those who are trading in BAC, Sensex options, so for some brokers terminal did not work today. And last week also it did not work and this week also it did not work. And uh, one of my friends uh, lost heavily because he could not square up the positions. I did not think uh, IT stocks will come under severe selling pressure today. It has come under good selling pressure. So maybe markets are waiting for TCS Wipro results. So only after that, there may be some recovery and that too, if the results are good. But generally, the market is not expecting a good results from IT companies. But that is my view also that uh, not so good results from IT companies has already been factored in. So therefore, you know, if they come out with bad results, it's not a surprise. But if they come out with good results, that will be a surprise. You remember, I always say markets will react violently only for the surprise news and expected news it will not react so it is expected that it companies will declare bad results even if they declare bad results that is expected there will be no much reaction so that is why i am of the view that either markets may stabilize or may go higher you know going forward after the it results now uh, today also auto index was up PSU bank index was up while all other indices came under severe selling pressure and I would say now the froth is taken out and you know the excess speculation is out or weaker bulls are thrown out by this 200 point fall in just a single day. So now if the global queues turns around, right now the global queues are bad but as and when they turn around, when they turn positive, uh, Nifty can continue its upward journey. So that is the general expectation. As long as 19,000 is not broken on Nifty, so Nifty is actually on the uptrend. And nothing to worry about 200 point correction today. You may remember in the month of May also, from 18,400 to 18,400, uh, Nifty corrected two or three times. And similarly, 18,900 to 18,650, Nifty corrected few times in the month of June and now it is correcting from 18,500 to uh, sorry 19,500 to 19,300. So as I told you 
uh, Nifty is likely to trade violently between 19,000 and 19,500. So this was my observation based on past few months uh, price movement. I think that may continue now. So uh, people just one day a big fall, people have become bearish and uh, there was some unwinding in 19,500 PE, 19,400 PE, 19,300 PE and there was some addition in uh, uh, 19,500 CE also. So FA data is still not out and uh, but that may be you know uh, a mixed bag uh, as usual yeah I think it has come. So FAs have bought for about 800 crore the domestic institutions have sold for about 3000 crores now you know why market has fallen so much. So incidentally uh, European markets are stabilizing and US markets are also um, they are down but uh, we cannot say down it's just uh, a flat with a negative bias but of course US market action will be there only after 7 p.m. Indian standard time. So we will see so it is a time for party so we will see uh, on Sunday at Dalal Shade week ahead program. So hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching.